keep on falling in, in love. This is just the start of my journey. I'm not where I want to be yet, but you see these collarbones right here? Oh, they popping, sis. And I'm excited to take you along for the ride. Hey guys! And welcome back to my channel. Now, of course, thank you to all of my new subscribers and to all of you who have been with me from day one. Now, today, we are getting into, you read the title, Weight Loss. Now, just so you know, this video is not going to be about how to get skinny, okay? Because this girl right here, we're probably always going to be thicker than a snicker, okay? So, this video, though, it is to help guide you into starting your weight loss routine if this is something that you have been looking towards. Now for me, when I started YouTube, if you watch my Q&A, you know that one of my biggest regrets was gaining weight. So when I started this channel, I made a promise to myself that I was going to start to get back on track and start taking control of my life. Now, I know for some of you, weight loss, it isn't a big thing, but for a lot of you, it's a huge thing. It limits what we can and can't do. When you wanna go on an airplane, if you are overweight, you have to buy an additional seat. When you wanna go play with your kids, run up and down the stairs, you can't even keep up because you're out of breath. And for myself, just the way how I feel, just the way how I look, the weight, it changes your perspective on a lot of things. Now, this video is to help you get started on having a healthier life. This is not a video about body shaming or trying to tell you that if you're overweight, you're not healthy. That's not true. Because there are a lot of skinny people out there that are out of shape and their insides are torn apart and just totally unhealthy. So we are going to get into what I did to lose 27 pounds in 90 days. One of the biggest things that I will tell you right here and right now is you got to stay consistent. Anything that you do, consistency is key. So we're gonna go ahead and get on right into it. So for me, what I did for these 90 days, I'm gonna run through it, give you some tips, give you some pointers, and I hope that this video changes your life or at least it gives you a start on a new beginning. So what you will need, you will need a gallon of water, apple cider vinegar, a good pair of running shoes, and take a little time to educate yourself on intermittent fasting, okay? So those are the things that I did to get me where I am today. This is just the start of my journey. I'm not where I want to be yet, but you see these collarbones right here? Oh, they popping, sis. And I'm excited to take you along for the ride. So every single day, I drank a gallon of water. Sometimes I even drank a gallon and a half or two gallons. Now. What are the benefits of drinking a gallon a day, you may ask? It helps to clear your face. So if you're a person that breaks out often or easily, I'm telling you, you're going to want to implement 
drinking a gallon of water a day into your routine, okay? It gives you more energy. It helps with headaches. So if you're a person that has headaches, it allows you to have fewer headaches. And of course, it aids in weight loss. Now, the next thing that I did was apple cider vinegar. Now, before I touch base on this, because I know there's a lot going on about this apple cider vinegar, as I stated before, you definitely want to take a little bit of time and educate yourself in regards to drinking this. However, for me, after I did my research, I found it best that you take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar every other day with water, okay? Now, there are people who do a tablespoon every day, two tablespoons every day, but like with anything, there are always pros and cons. And for me, I definitely wanted to add something to help jumpstart my weight loss, but I also wanted to be smart about it because as I stated before, I'm not trying to get skinny. I'm trying to get healthy and I just needed a little boost, okay? So for the apple cider vinegars, the benefits that go along with that is that it helps to lower your blood sugar, it helps to kill harmful bacteria, and it also aids in what weight loss okay now the third thing that i did was i started running okay now i have ran in the past however i did get a back injury and it set me back a little bit not dealing with running it was with something else however i started and then i had to stop but with this, I started a beginner-friendly running routine. Now, I know for some of you, you're like, run? Run where? How much? What? So, yes, take it easy, guys. That's why I said a beginner-friendly workout. I ran um, one mile, two miles, or three miles a day within the week and I just had a routine. So for a typical week, I would run three miles one day, be off the next day, then, ride, then run two miles the next day, then do sprints, and then the next day I would do one and a half miles and do six sprints at the end. So beginner friendly, do what works for you guys. If you need to walk, walk, do what works for you, okay? So running, we already know this helps with our cardiovascular, it helps with our breathing, it helps with just keeping our blood flowing, our blood circulating, okay? So you wanna get some type of exercise in your routine to aid you in weight loss now i know many of you are saying hey i don't have time or i just don't like working out guys just get out there get moving get active do something trust me your body will thank you later and of course what else does running aid you guessed it weight loss okay now the next thing that i did was intermittent fasting now, there are so many different ways to do fasting, but basically what you are doing, you are breaking your fast. And that is why it's called breakfast. If you break up that word, you have break and you have fast, okay? So when you choose to do this though, is where the magic happens, okay? So for me, I don't eat until noon every day and I stop eating at 7 p.m. So pretty much from the window of 12 p.m. to 7 p.m., that is my eating window. And from 7 p.m. to 12 noon the next day, that is when I am fasting. 
okay? Now, things that you can have while you are fasting, I don't recommend having anything because the whole point is you really don't want to break your fast. But from the research that I have done, as long as whatever you are eating is five calories or less, you will not break your fast. So things like green tea or coffee that's all black, not adding sugar, not adding milk, not all of that, basic, five calories or less, it should not kickstart your metabolism to make you think, oh, it's time to eat. So, like I said, I don't eat anything because I don't even want to break my fast on accident, okay? But read the labels on the back of items. If you start feeling lightheaded or anything of the sort, guys, eat, okay? We are human. You have to listen to your body, okay? Now, with the intermittent fasting, what are the benefits? It lowers your cholesterol, it reduces your liver fat, and it improves your blood pressure, okay guys? And what else do you think it does? It helps you lose weight, okay? So what is the common thing that I have been talking about this entire time? It is weight loss. And that is why I chose to do those things to help me get to the point where I am today. Now, just moving along here and touching back a little bit more in regards to the exercise portion of this, I spoke with a very, very, very committed runner. And she gave me two tips to share with you guys. And I thought that it was very, very, very important that you guys know this. And this is not just for running, but exercising in general, guys. These are these two tips are really good, but they are geared to running if you are trying to do the exact same program that I just did for the past 90 days. Now, her first tip that she gave and guys, you're going to want to listen because she runs marathons and she is amazing. So the first tip that she gave me was invest in a good pair of sneakers. Now this, guys, I cannot agree more because when you start running, and you try to wear Converse or your everyday sneakers, I am telling you, your feet, they are going to be killing you, okay? They are not going to feel good while you're running, and they are definitely not going to feel good the next day after. So if it is your everyday sneaker, make sure you invest in a good pair of running shoes because your everyday sneaker it is not going to work for running and number it is to progress gradually again i could not agree more and the reason why she stressed this is because when you go out there and you're like i want to lose weight right now right here guys guys you did not put the weight on in a day. You did not put the weight on in a week. Most of you, you put it on during quarantine. But in general, we gain weight over the course of time, months, years, and then poof, we want the weight, we want the weight going just like that. It does not work like that, okay guys? So the same thing comes with exercising. Progress gradually okay when you do too much too fast you know what she says she says that you become more prone to injuries so you get on your sneakers you ready to go you ready to run or you ready to work out whatever it is you're doing and you're pumped Boom! you take off you sprinting down the road and before you know it your knees start hurting 
Your back start hurting. Your shins start hurting. Everything hurting at that point. Guys, take it easy. Yes, you do want to go hard, but go hard mentally at the beginning, okay? Get your mind right. Get your mind focused on your goals, okay? And I'm telling you, your body, it will follow behind. You are what you eat, okay, guys? This is the most crucial part of weight loss, what you eat for breakfast. I recommend egg whites if you're going to eat eggs. Stay away from the yolks. The yolks are very high in cholesterol. You want to add some sort of green to those eggs, guys. You want to rotate your greens from spinach to kale on a weekly basis. If you are going to eat bread, I recommend you eat Ezekiel Low Sodium Bread because it is from sprouted grains. When you are eating your meat, Make sure it is poached, seared, or grilled. No skin, and make sure it is lean. Now, when you're eating your carbs, your rice, you wanna swap out all of your white carbs for brown grain carbs, okay? If you don't want rice at all, I definitely recommend black beans as being a great substitute for protein and also rice. Now, of course, Greens upon greens upon greens, guys. You cannot eat enough greens. Just make sure you are rotating your greens. Now for snacks, I ate bark thins when I felt a little snacky. When you are eating nuts, be careful to not eat too much. They are high in fat. And when I really just needed a snack, I had multi-grain tortilla chips. When you are on the go, guys, you want to have something ready to go. A protein shake is a great way to go, or you can do a protein bar that is high in protein. Try to get one that is low in sugar. And for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, you can always swap it out with a green smoothie to get you to your weight loss goal. Yes, we have made it to the end of this video. Just a quick recap. You want to lose weight. You want to lose up to 30 pounds, up to 25 pounds, up to 20 pounds, whatever your goals may be. I hope that these tips will help jump start those goals for you. Don't forget, what do you need? We need a gallon of water every day. We need our apple cider vinegar. Don't overdo it. One tablespoon every other day is good enough. But if you want to add more, the maximum recommended amount would be two tablespoons. And you want to what? Invest in a good pair of running shoes. Get a beginner friendly running schedule, guys. And educate yourself on intermittent fasting it works breaking your fast it is important what you break your fast with so keep these things in mind and of course because i am talking about health i have to say the disclaimer that i am not a health physician or anything like that i am just letting you know what i did to lose 27 pounds in 90 days of course consult your physician before you start any diet plan now getting on to today's shout out it goes to drum roll please miss tiffany fake yes guys she is a small youtuber and she is trying to blow up just like you too. Okay, so we need to support. We need to subscribe. We need to like her videos. She keeps it real, guys. She takes us into her house. She does vlogging. She also gives us different advice or guidance from her life with what she does, being school, being a mom. 
she supports me like crazy okay so i definitely want you guys to go and show her page some love now this is the day this is the day that the lord has made that the lord has made i will rejoice i will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day this is the day that the lord has made until